promised, we are going to work on the Gia, the top. And for those of you who don't follow all of my videos, uh, just the ones with the Gia, I talked about what problems I was having. And uh, let's climb inside the car here real quick, and I'll show you what's going on. Um, this rear window, I'm going to try and do this one-handed. Um, I'm missing the clearance here at the latch by just a fraction of an inch um, because this bow is not pulled far enough forward. I uh, recorded a little Saturday morning chat yesterday and uh, just didn't post it, didn't think it was that interesting. So uh, we'll start today uh, with, uh, you know, work on the Gia. So this is convertible top. I think it's going to be part four or five, I can't remember. Yeah, mm hmm. Took the uh, top back off of the back half of the car here. Um, was having trouble with that window latch. And I think, you know, I'll put this on the front end of the video and then we'll work through it. But uh, I've got some other footage of it <clears throat> trying to latch. We'll get it figured out. It's latching now without the top on it. So uh, I got to figure a way to block that all up and then tighten down the top without screwing myself up there so uh, anyway it's looking looking good uh, did see a video from Mr. Roach Gas or Glass uh, that's awesome uh, I was really really happy to see that um, you know it's it's kind of his business but uh, he's been a little sick and uh, you know always concerned about guys in the garage uh, when you don't see him for a little while you know, you kind of see comments once in a while, but you don't see them. You know, you want to make sure everything's good. And uh, Mr. Roach sounded good and uh, seemed to be in pretty good spirits. So I uh, hope to see more from him in the future, but no rush, no rush at all. Uh, you know, you come back and spend time in the shop when you're ready. Uh, otherwise, spend time with the grandkids and uh, Delilah, the pig. <laughs> By the way, Delilah is my, my favorite... Uh, person, animal, whatever, personality on YouTube. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is about the pig. Pig makes me laugh. So uh, anyway, it was, it was great to see, uh, great to see that video this morning. So anyway, we're going to get rocking on the convertible here. I think I've got some adjustment to do on this lip. Uh, it sort of gets fatter right here. So I may take a block of wood and kind of knock it down a little bit. Uh, just kind of housekeeping stuff, you know, now that I'm in here. The other thing I'm going to do is tighten up uh, tighten up this fabric here. I didn't like the way it was laying uh, when the top was on. So my thought is, you know, this is foam here. And these lines are supposed to be, you know, nice and straight. And what happened is when that top went on there, they got all wonky looking. Uh, so hopefully I can tighten that up a little bit and uh, just make it a little more sharp you know a little more finished on the inside there and uh, so anyway we will get right on that right now I got this side stitched and it is like a thousand times better now that it's tightened up uh, that webbing that's underneath is right on this edge and so tightening it up kind of pulled the foam back just a little bit from that edge so I think what was happening is the top would get on there and smush that stuff down and uh, make that line a little crooked so I'm way 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 happier so I got to do the other side and then we'll get to fitting the top back on. I think what I'd like to do, you can see I've got everything latched here and I actually pushed the hinges up a little bit in the back so that I would have adjustment room. You know, I wanted them in the center so I could go up or down later in life. And I think what I'm gonna do is probably put some kind of a two by four or something 
underneath here to uh, hold it up while I put the top on so that it stays real stiff. I'm going to leave the glass in place and then I might put little spacers every so often in here. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of scratching my head just a little bit on that, but we'll figure it out. So this is one of the reasons I had such a tough time tightening these things. This, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, plastic jacket got cut in, uh, in this hole. You know, I got to stuff this little guy through the hole there. And uh, it got cut and that caused it to, you know, not want to slide. So I've got to, you know, trim that back or something and uh, do the same thing to this side. So hopefully we'll keep the pressure off of it this time a little bit more, a little bit better. And uh, hopefully that'll work for us. We're sort of back to square one here. Um, this is all loose. And, uh, you know, started tightening it down. It's looking good. You know, everything's nice. There's a cable that goes around this rear window. And it connects to a bolt or a... Oh, whatever you want to call it, a plate back here and a plate over there. Uh, the second I put this tension cable in, and I mean just one thread on each nut, both sides there, uh, I fastened down the top, tried to swing the rear window in, and it won't go. So this tension cable is what's causing the problem. So we're going to go to uh, Tactic that Darren told me about and he said uh, the guys who did these back in the day used to take towels like this and pour boiling water over the top of them and uh, you know doing it right over the bow so the bow is right where my fingers are under here so that hopefully will stretch this fabric a little bit or allow it to stretch so what we're going to do is we're going to pour the water on there I'm boiling the water right now and uh, we're going to pour the water on there then go inside, put the window up, and then we're going to try and, you know, prop it up with some wood as well. You know, really get a good stretch on it because you know it's going to shrink back just a little bit. So we'll see if that works. Getting ready for the pour here. I've got a 2x4 wedged up there. It's probably pushing up a good half inch, maybe inch, something like that. I wedged it up as hard as I could. Uh, to give me as much pressure up here as I can. I got my towel set up. I got my, I don't know what you want to call it, just drop cloth really. Uh, I'm hoping to pour the water slow enough that it sort of sits where I want it. But we all know how that goes. So preparing for the worst here. So we'll have boiling water down here in just a moment.
Oh yeah, you see it. The window's in place. This is uh, pretty much dry. Uh, I think you guys saw it there, depending on how I edit this damn thing together. I put uh, the boiling hot water and the towels over this bow and uh, let it sit for probably, I'm going to say half an hour. It might have been closer to an hour. And uh, then I went back and boiled some more water and did these two side stitches. And that helped tremendously. So here it is. The, uh, the window latches and unlatches without incident right now. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back in here. And we're going to leave it. Hang on. We're going to leave it for a few days for sure. So, uh, yeah, there we go. My next move. Um, hang on. Yeah, that kind of tightens up my doors with the 2x4 in there, but that's okay. Uh, the next thing is, this thing, it just needs a little bit more oomph on it. You can see it's kind of gappy right there. So, what we'll do is, uh, we'll tighten that up. I think i got to put some washers back behind the cables. And, in fact, I forgot to show it, but the hole that this went into was actually puckered, like, into the car, and that's what caught this cable. Uh, I took a ball-peen hammer, which is in here somewhere, I think. Yeah, there it is, ball-peen hammer, and a big, round-ended drift, which, I don't know, I put somewhere. There it is. It's over behind the 2x4 there. Yep. And punched out. Uh, this hole so that it was pushing out so that the cable could go in and not get caught um, That gave me a little crack crack arama right there in the old body work um, So, you know just kind of add that to the list, but the top wasn't going on without that. So anyway other things I adjusted uh, this whole top down just a skosh both sides and my battery's dead. So I'm out Don't let your meat loaf